Riveting content, empowering your life. Welcome to The Sphere. This episode is sponsored by Dr. Taraya M. Richmond, PLLC. When it comes to your family's health and women's services, and you're looking for excellence in healthcare, look no further than your family medicine physician, Dr. Taraya M. Richmond, PLLC. Call Dr. Richmond today at 713-453-6962 to schedule your next appointment. Looking to advertise? Join the Sphere's vast demographic reach of thousands of people all over the world. Send an email today to advertiseatthesphere.tv or call us at area code 832-772-7789. KOG and Company. Are your unique gifts and talents changing the world? Do you desire to belong to a community of unity? Visit kogpassion.com to learn more about the Unleash Your Dopeness movement. Good morning, good morning. I never, we're never here in the morning, so I have to actually get get with this. But welcome to the docs, where we are here to educate, inform, and empower you about health and wellness topics on the Sphere Network. I am Dr. Chandra Batiste. Um, I am a dentist, and I have my own dental practice, which is located at the corner of Fondren and Westheimer here in Houston, Texas, and it's Elite Dental Wellness. You can follow me on Instagram at hotdoc.com, Facebook, Ashandra Batiste, and Twitter, Ashandra Batiste, or you can, of course, come and get your teeth right for 2018 at my dental practice, and that number is 713-789-8680. Um, we are here this bright and early morning, bright eye and bushy tail with my favorite my my favorite co-host in the world slaying in this jacket it's just cold <laughs> and i realized i don't have any winter clothes in <laughs> so we just gonna wear jackets and scarves uh, and scarves <laughs> hey everybody of course i'm dr simone ellis and you can reach me at smile design studios on the highway 6 and 1092 and of course my office is smile design studios so Facebook, smile, Simone Ellis, and Instagram, Dr. Simone Ellis. And I'm excited to be here with my lovely Ashandra. Bringing in 2018, what an I epic know. 2017. It's 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 been epic, to yeah. say the least. Yeah. I mean, you've you've gone through some craziness this year. Man, I was reflecting. I think that it's important for us to have some time for reflection. I and I got my calendar out, and I was just looking through all the things that I had been through. And so, um, <laughs> let's talk about it. Uh, started the year off right with a nice surgery a, was a out of the office big time surgery yeah yeah got, got out the office for about six to eight weeks but it showed me that i could be out of my office for six to eight weeks and still be okay um fell in and out of love a little bit falling in some love ending uh let's talk about having uh, <laughs> i mean i'm just saying like life is good and bad right Ta staff half of them turned over <laughs> people just walked out got a whole new staff great moment <laughs> great moment great moments goals. yeah good so, for I you mean, good it's harvey <laughs> man came through harvey it. man you were and you're out. and you're and your your office was like kind of right into yeah where some people got flooded it was just crazy <clears throat> you know but i mean blessed that didn't impact me too much but i mean there was still some impact but sure. just kind of seeing you know that faith like just rising through stuff and riding it out and sure. now i'm looking at the 2018 and just like wow the possibilities i think that's what is good about the new year right the possibilities are endless you have the opportunity to just kind of start the year off with trying to figure out what you want to do but you put a vision in place so sure. finished i think most of my goal setting i have this weekend to hit a couple more goals that i need to 
write out and then let's see how I do. How about you? How was 2017 for you? Um, 2017 into 2016 was like, I was like, peace out. See you later. What? You know, you birthed. You, you well, literally. 2016, I oh, peaced out. Okay. Right. And then 2017, I moved into the new practice yeah. and um, we've seen some growth. I haven't had any walkouts Thank God. But I have seen some growth. I still sometimes want to burn the place down. Yeah, but then we like had an AC, then we didn't. And now you got one. Right. I had a whole AC in a brand new space that broke, like b- broke. Yeah. Like, no, no returns, no exchanges. I had to get a whole new one. And a whole new child, right? Yeah, I did have a whole new child. <laughs> that thing. That happened. Now, that was the best thing in 2017. No, your pictures. Miss Quinn. Were the best. <laughs> I, if you guys haven't checked out Ashandra's page, I need you to go to <laughs> Facebook and get your entire family photo life. I was just, I had to stop what I was doing. I was like, I need to send her a message. I almost called you. I was like, what? They were gorgeous. Thank you. And Thank Quinn you. is delicious. Quinn is the best. I swear, when I look at her little feet, I'm like, I could do this again. Yeah. But, like, I can't. Like, well, my, the I mean, way my I bank account set for it, up. Like, <laughs> no. I can invest you back can into invest. surrogates. <laughs> yeah. I mean, like, I'm trying to get a baby in 2018. <laughs> you feel like doing it again? <laughs> hey, what, what's your checkbook looking so like? Someone's talking about it after this show. <laughs> You never know. So, so yeah, 20, 2017 has had its, you know, great high ups. And I had my beautiful daughter, so that's a blessing. Yeah. And then, you know, like you said, you have some downs. And you. the good thing is that we are all here to see the end of 2017. I mean, because... Well, we, let's I like mean, knock on wood, but yeah, we got two more, three yeah, more we got days. Two, two or three more days, and we know people that didn't make it through. Right. So it's just good to see and be here today. So we thank, we have to thank God for that. So thanking God for that, and um. And then, oh, look at my Quinny. Oh, there she is. <laughs> She's so wonderful. I, I mean, she is gorgeous. She's, I feel like the blessing of God was up on you thank on 2017. You. Thank you. Thank so. you. Thank you. Thank well, you. what is some, sh- what, do you have any goals right now for 2018 that you um about? To maintain my edges. Oh, all of them? Yeah. I would like to keep <laughs> all my edges in 20, <laughs> 2018. You just know Beyonce is coming out with something though, so she might just like <laughs> just take all my edges when she comes. That chick back. is innovative. Like whatever her vision planner is, whoever is doing that girl stuff. She kills if I edges. could, if I could get a a snapback body like Beyonce. Okay, so you are already. I did have a baby, and I'm still like, so how your stomach still on flat flat? <laughs> like, what are you doing? I need to be B N F, butt naked, fine. Oh, there's a is, difference. It is a huge difference. There's a huge difference. Yeah, BNF is my I, goal. I support that. Thank okay. you. Thank so. you. And um, of course, of course, keeping my family ha- happy, healthy, and safe is always important. Yeah. And then growing the practice is always kind of in the forefront of my mind, along with sometimes simultaneously figuring out how to burn it down. Yeah, yeah. You know? I mean, that's that's yes. part of entrepreneur life, <laughs> right? <laughs> entrepreneur life i am really looking forward to 2018 i had the best christmas that i have had in like two years oh wow family and it was just awesome so i'm looking forward to traveling of course got that yeah so i don't care what you have to say about this but i am saying that the 27 2017 was awesome for travel and can i get your your social calendar now it's awesome it is awesome. <laughs> I'm excited. Like within like ten days, I think I'm on another beach somewhere. So where's I where's the it. beach in ten days? So Me- Mexico, Mexico, and then Belize. Oh really? Yeah. In January? That's gonna be in February. Okay. Okay. So Mexico and skiing March. Okay. okay March. Yeah. Okay. So we got like it's already coming. I mean, I literally am excited <laughs> because I take the time to sit down and say, okay, where do I want to go? Sure. Yeah. So this is awesome. Sure. And then the practice. You know, I am excited because we, I, I was wondering how we were going to end up. Yeah. And we did fine. And good. Jesus hears my prayers every single time. That's so I'm good. excited for 2018 to see what will happen. And then physically, yeah, this would be no surgeries. If I have no surgeries in 2018. That'll be a good day. Yes, it will be good. The health, which we were going to talk about, is important. Yeah, you know? it is. So it is. It the is. doc show is awesome. And this has been a great thing. I mean, I'm looking yes. back at all of the things that we've how many episodes about have we had? That's, I you mean, and I, something like twenty. It's like no, because we were doing this like how many episodes, it's producer? Thirty seventh episode. That is amazing, Fred. I mean, I probably <laughs> did ten. <laughs> <laughs> 
Maybe 13. <laughs> Maybe. Okay, thank you for being generous. <laughs> but I mean, we've learned a lot over this year, and I'm excited to talk to you guys about the top 10 things that me and Doc felt like were awesome for the Doc show, and hopefully you guys will find some of these things also, also interesting. So do you want to pull out your list, and let's go through what your number 10 that makes the list so well i don't i guess i didn't i didn't like rank them as far as like my i mean i have a I have a number one okay but everyone else just kind of falls into be just being awesome okay like just being an awesome host a co-host great content they were fun yeah um and one of the first ones was um dr tiara tiara am i saying i always tariah jesus why do i always mess her name up but well her family was fancy Yes, and so that's yes. all. You so know, her Dr. Name is great. Taraya was one of my favorites because she was one of the first ones that came on with me by myself when you were gone. Okay. We, uh, okay. <laughs> little shade. <laughs> Just a little. Small. But she know. came on and she talked about women's health. <clears throat> because she has her own clinic over there, and um, and I'm gonna still call it Third Ward because that's what it is. We're not changing it. What we're is not, there a new name coming out? I don't out? know. They okay. may try to change it, but we're gonna hold yeah. on. Harlem, Solange, still Harlem. Solange asked us to hold on to it, <laughs> and we're gonna hold on to it tight. Third Ward. So Third Ward, um, and she comes in and she talks about women's health and how she has these patients who avoid coming to the doctor because they're they're actually in pain mm -hmm. and how she had one that had a like actual cervical cancer that was protruding out and uh, for years years and finally came in oh my god and they were able to save her life and all that which was the good side of the story right. but i was just like the the things that and cervical cancer is slow growing so like that's crazy right. that Right. It doesn't grow that fast. Right. Yeah. Right. Right. And so we had we had a situation where she's telling me that this young this it was it was an older woman at this point in time, waited years and years and years, knew about the problem. It was painful to do everything, meaning pee, sit down, um, you know, have bowel movements and all that. However, she would refuse to come to the doctor because she didn't want the bad news. Wow. And wow. so I was just like, God, you know, I mean, we see it all the time, right? Yeah. Patients don't want to come because they know it's gonna be so bad, or you have these patients sit in the chair and they're like, Oh my yeah. god. My, this could be the worst mouth you've ever seen, right? right. However, <laughs> however, yeah. So I'm multitasking. Clearly, yeah. I have my my four and a half year old Logan here. Yeah. That's that's part of my 2017. Yeah, yeah I just, think that is just great. <laughs> <laughs> so if I thumbs down, it's not to you, wonderful, wonderful um, viewers. It's to my son that's peeking through the window. Um, so so. For her, she was one of my, she was definitely one of my favorites. And she was so comfortable and she was so good on camera. And she has since been back. Like, she's since been back oh, and awesome. has, has co-hosted the show. Um, and she has an ad. So if anyone needs a physician in Houston, by all means, check her out. Because she's fantastic. Well, my 10 was going to be uh, Rashad Sanders oh, yeah. on the yoga show. So this was the first time that I co-hosted the show without you. And so I think that's so funny that we picked those 10s as the, uh, <laughs> I don't throw shade because I, I feel like, you know, things happen. <laughs> no, but I thought it was really great because um, he gave us the opportunity to, one, he's a black yoga instructor, <coughs> male. Um, you don't really get a chance to see that. And then also getting an opportunity to find out about the different types of yoga. So um, he, after that session he encouraged me to go and take a yoga class and I did and when I tell you that workout is harder doing yoga than it is for me to go lift weights as far as just the stretching and the breathing and planning to return it was just really really eye-opening for me so yoga was something that I probably would not have done and then now all of a sudden I feel like it's something that I'm trying to incorporate into life so um, some of the things that I thought was really interesting was the different types of yoga that we have out there. Um, also, just how to basically uh, allow your sweat, which I didn't realize um, helps to neutralize your pH or your body temperature. So instead of just like wiping it off, but just like letting it sit onto your skin and keeping your body cool, um, being the certain type of diet that you want to eat during uh, while you're doing yoga, just a lot of things that he talked about that I felt was really eye opening. So, guys, if you haven't had an opportunity to check out that episode, definitely do so. Um, <laughs> um, another one of my top ones were then the number nine was the yearly eye exam. We just did this episode and I learned so much about being um, 
a a patient that I, I didn't realize that eyes were so important um, from a keeping them up healthy. So we just use our eyes on a day-to-day basis, but there's actually a process to try to maintain them. So going to get a yearly eye exam, I think is super important. Um, also getting a chance to learn the different tests that need to be done. Um, I didn't even know that there was a big difference between going to the eye doctor over at you know your local Walmart or... Um, uh, Sam's Club and now going to see an eye surgeon so definitely a lot of cool tidbits that she uh, she showcased um, this part of the uh, show is sponsored by Facebook so guys we want you guys sorry wrong at <laughs> This guy's this part of the show is sponsored by uh, Dr. Taraya Richmond. Finding excellence in healthcare is no easy task. When you begin your be, begin that journey, look no further than your local family medicine physician, Dr. Taraya Richmond. Dr. Richmond offers an array of services, including Pap smears, breast exams, STI screenings, contraceptive management, prenatal care, and so much more. So, you guys, contact Dr. Taraya Richmond to schedule your next appointment today at area code 713-453-6962. Again, that number is 713-453-6962. And we were just talking about her show. Um, please go back and check out on the docs to see what uh, Dr. Chandra Batiste was talking about with her uh, being a, a great, great host, but also great information about um, going to get your checkups. I think you should start the year off right with a, a good checkup. There's nothing wrong with that there. Absolutely so. not. I think that uh, like one of the biggest things when we talk about these doctors that uh, you have patients that fight them. I was I was that girl, right? I was the girl that was like, wait, I don't have hypertension. Psh, let me lose five pounds. She was right. like, no, you, don't, you have hypertension. Like it's a genetic. Yes, it's a genetic <laughs> issue, right? So, so. I am I am definitely all for people going to see their physicians, you know, as soon as possible. What was another moment for you? I had we talked about the eye exams. That was a really good show okay. for us. Got so. you, got you, got you. Um we had Dr. Uchenna, who you weren't here for, the sex doctor. You remember oh, her? Oh yes. I think I and I saw a portion of this episode oh too. Tell God. me how was it amazing? Oh. Teach me right now how to get my sex life together, right? Well, you know, what she one of the things that we actually didn't even talk so much about the sex life element. We talked more about like slut shaming and and so I think Amber Rose has a really big part of like the slut shaming that's going on uh, for 20. I think she has that whole walk. And I think she's trying to redefine how women are viewed in society as opposed to uh, these traditional um, roles that we have. So women being embracing to their sexuality and being comfortable with it. So right. tell us a little bit about that. So for her, what she was explaining to us was that like, the whole psychological element of sex and how women do not embrace their sexuality and how we're kind of trained to not embrace our sexuality is actually a flaw, right? Mm. And so then when women who do embrace their sexuality and are saying, hey, I like sex and I enjoy sex and these are the ways that you can enjoy sex as a woman, then they, they, they are called sluts. Yeah. And I was like, man, so it's, it's a psych... It's all of this is Oh, my God. They start us off in the... I feel like at, at the infancy, yeah. you're like, nope, you can't talk about being sexual. No, and I mean, even from if you grew up in a black family where you go to church, I mean, that's a really right. big deal. You don't talk like, about sex. No, I mean, I for real right. felt like, you know, I need to make sure that if I'm not a virgin for my husband, like, I'm not going to find a husband because you're brainwashed that, but men aren't right. brainwashed aren't. that way. So that's a really men good aren't. one. So it was for her, I liked, I really, really enjoyed that element because it was, it was good. It was good to hear some another woman saying, it's okay to just like sex. Yeah. And so why we are well, like you clearly this way. like sex because we had three babies like yeah. <laughs> Let me not put you on blast like that. I, mean, I do enjoy. I you do partake enjoy. in a few. I do enjoy. <laughs> With my husband. Yes. Okay. So that's definitely. With Pretty Ricky. Yeah. So I, she, I think she probably talked about safe options too. With she being, did. She um, did. She talked about safe sex. She. We talked about like. All the different options and ways to make sure you're having safe sex, making, you know, and, and we also talked about the fact that, like, if you have, it's okay to have multiple, like, ideas and thoughts about sex and the way sex is comfortable for you. And yeah. I just thought that that was kind of mind-blowing, right? Yeah. Like, maybe maybe you are, and she talked about gays and lesbians. I mean, literally, she brought it all up in, like, this big, great umbrella. We got to bring her back on. Oh, I said, you got to, you have to come back. And I was like... 
I was like, Dr. Simone Ellis is not I here. I like, need this in my life. <laughs> I need this in my life. She would enjoy this tremendously. So much. So, <laughs> you know I'm so green, so I'm just like, anything that I can learn about. Help you, Jesus. Help my life. So my my next one, uh, my number eight, was actually when we talked about uh, teen pregnancy and its impact. But I think oh, the elements yeah. from that, like about learning about yeast infections and bacterial oh, vaginosis, that was awesome because I don't think I even knew the difference. And uh, my friend Cherie Cross, Dr. Cross, shout out, uh, came on the show. And she was, I felt like, really excellent about teaching us about the stats um, about teen pregnancy, uh, the cultural differences that we have. Um, basically, you know, why is the U.S. still behind on teen pregnancy? And mm -hmm. we, we talked a lot about that. Um, and then even the education about sex in schools. And we were talking about your daughter and how she's learning yeah. all of these things now because you're teaching her, but it's yeah. not necessarily being super, you know, educated on in the school. So I thought well, that was really good. Well, they're getting good. education, but they're learning from each other. So right. they're not being taught the healthy right way. They're being taught from each other and, and the stupid things that they do versus yeah. like I am, and we were talking about it, we are, we, I'm an advocate of teaching your children hearing it from you a healthy and safe space first and yes. so we talked about that which yeah is, which was great yeah i mean i think that my mother was very much so very vocal about sex was she too really? yeah you yeah. know the thing the reason why she was very vocal about it was because her mother wasn't mm. and so when she got her period for the first time she thought she was dying you know and so she's like how could you imagine like, like 12 or 13 you're just like so it's all over. <laughs> it's a wrap. Or the this fact that when you miss a period, when you're not like regular, you think you're pregnant and you're the chosen Mary. Like right. so, she had such extremes of like dying versus being God's God's chosen God's one. <laughs> And she's like, I'm not going to set my child up for failure. That's so nice. she allowed it. And so I didn't hear those conversations from my friends first. I heard them from my parents, yeah. my mother first. Yeah. And I think that that's yeah. great that you're doing that. Mm -hmm. So I agree. her teaching us about that. You know, I have a really big issue, ladies. When I go to concerts and the bathroom smells like who shot John? I don't understand it. I'm like, what is going on? And how people well, are not getting that checked out. You have to make life decisions sometimes in that restaurant. Oh my like, do gosh. I hold my breath the whole time? Or do I? I keep thinking the dude's bathroom can't smell like this. Mm. It can't because they don't have bacterial vaginosis. <laughs> no, men can carry like yeast infections and stuff. Well, yeah, but yeast, remember we learned, isn't the one that's the culprit oh, that's for the, the smell. Yeah. Right. You just, mm. Anyways, we just learned ladies. We did. We did learn that. That was I BV. Just, that's what I'm saying. I never yeah. even knew that this i'm like oh my god now that i'm smelling somebody's who's a cat died inside Oof. them like Oof. this is a big deal so i rough. think for men that are watching the show too that was rough you know hey listen if rough. your girl is smelling a little fishy then it's let's bv time, bv let's BV. get the doctors on so that was a that was a really great episode and also having you know one of my college friends on there was good um my next number seven was traction alopecia i did not <laughs> realize <laughs> That's a. I mean, you know, people don't have edges, and what you say, one of your goals is trying to keep all your edges. Yes, Jesus. So how you do this is not having traction alopecia. These uh, having these braids, uh, a new big, you know, oh people getting all the faux locks, people getting the goddess locks, but how tight is too, too tight. tight, you know? So I really loved uh, Milton, Dr. Milton Moore, who's another college friend of mine coming on and educating us about dermatology that was one of the major things that i took from that show because getting a chance to know why people's hair on their edges are gone and then also you know i always see like little black kids running around here with their moms having their braids way too tight and how that's going to impact their lives in the future everybody who doesn't have edges people make fun of like that's <laughs> like setting you up for failure unless you're a naomi campbell type with the wig like we want to make sure sure that you know you you got your edges so we learned a lot on that show uh microblading which was the new trend my sister actually got microblading did she? yeah she how did. did she like it she likes it my sister's extra so anything that's you <laughs> know above and beyond on a glam scam she can do it so it looked really nice on her but i thought that it was cool that he told us that you know if they do it wrong that's a permanent situation for sure. almost about a year. So. Sure, sure. That was one for me. What about you? Um, one of my favorite, another one of my favorites was the episode with Dr. Angela Jones and my sister was actually a guest uh, via Skype. And it was the episode on mental health. Yeah. Um, that episode was, of course, a little bit more emotional for me because I have a direct experience with my with my own sister as far as mental health and, and 
we do not talk about it enough yeah. and we are finally starting to have um conversations about it but it's it's we're getting there right so that episode with dr angela jones and my sister which was god it was months and months and months ago we had we talked about there was a stabbing at ut yeah which is where i'm in i'm in um that's my alma mater and my sister was actually there she was at ut at the time or you know she was in austin at the time <clears throat> and it was just one of those things like how, how does this happen when where you know what do we do and then she was talking about her experiences and dr angela is one of my really really good friends um and she was talking about going into a house yeah. and this this woman was just screaming yeah like the exorcist type like the situation. exorcist and we good, were like yeah. what are you what are you doing that <laughs> what are you doing with that because i would have been like holy water all deck <laughs> you wouldn't have, i wouldn't have no water i would have just been in the car you know so what i'm not going to i would have yeah. my mother-in-law yeah. Yeah. Who who has the direct line to Jesus? I told you this. She texts Jesus like, mm, what, what, w, "W Y A, where you at?" <laughs> where? No, that was a really good and and finding out more about you personally, but how it's mm-hmm. impacted your sister and yeah. her being so transparent. Yes. Like I thought that was really great, and the support system that she had. Um, you guys figuring out like you know she wasn't being normal and mm-hmm. what was going on and right. call, and catching those symptoms really early, right? To help her become a better person right. and seeing I mean, her on the show, she's great. She's like, great. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I would love to have her back as well, yeah. just because my sister has so much to say about it yeah. and all that. So yeah, it was it was that was a great great show, and I love being as transparent as I can be, and I feel like that's the only way we can kind of grow um, as a society as yeah. a whole is people telling their real freaking life stories, not sitting up here masquerading the foolishness. Yeah, I mean, mental illness and mental health is something that I feel like we as a community are trying to do a little bit better now mm-hmm. of identifying mm-hmm. what's going on with our culture and also trying to be more open minded to getting help going to counseling is not so taboo Absolutely. like it's it's something for health so guys we have a couple more to get into before the end of the year but we're going to end our facebook live how you guys can find out more about what we're talking about and as our top 10 of awesome things that we've talked about on docs is to subscribe to our show on all our major platforms including itunes soundcloud google play and stitcher of course we want you to review our show on itunes and give us constructive feedback we are doing some awesome things for 2018 and we want to make sure that we know what you guys want us to talk about what you liked about the show what you didn't so please review us and, and let us get that feedback from you Share this with your friends on Facebook Live, posting the entire show with your family and friends. I want one of our shows to go viral. That's one of my goals for 2018. So whatever topics that you feel like are just hot going on, I want to make sure that we're getting an opportunity to expose more people to the doc show. And then, of course, so we can get an assistant. (laughs) We need you to donate to our mission. I know the producer hates me for my ideas this morning, but we, we need some help, guys. We want to make this show go even uh, become even greater than it is right now. It's already wonderful. We want to keep it. So we want you to donate to our mission to bring enriched and inspiring content each and every week. You can donate at www.thesphere.tv slash donate. So with that being said, we will miss all of our Facebook Live people for 2017. We will, but y'all better be back. 2018. 2018. Coming with the Go fire. Through. So see you guys later. Bye. All, All right. right. So what you got for your next? That was actually on my list for. Oh, mental that was health. was that one. Uh, that yeah, was that one. one that had ranked at a five. That so. one was a good one. Um, and then of course, I, I know she's on your list because she's on mine. Is uh the episode with you? Don't myself. wait. No, stop. So wait a minute. I'm gonna go back and do mine because I don't want you to do one of mine because I got my list going. If you keep taking them away, <laughs> I'm not gonna have nothing to talk well, about. Well, we could share some sharing. Is okay, today. so I'm going with Gucci Mane. And the girls versus uh, oh, because it's this to us, that was right? Funny. We're a dentist, yeah. so yeah, that uh, crowns funny. versus veneers. That was our first episode. Yeah, so that I can't be. That can't. No, th- the topic. Oh, was one of my favorite topics oh, okay. that we talked okay. about, okay. which okay. is something that, of course, as you guys know, me and Doc are um, both dentists, and we both do a lot of cosmetic work. Uh, she is phenomenal, just like I like to toot my own horn. So I am, yeah. So you we are. like to talk about what we do in crowns veneers, how patients come in, how you know the difference of why you choose to get one versus the other. And we talked about the glow up from Gucci Mane, which Man. was one of my favorite moments because I think that he, you know, just looks so much different. He does look yeah. very different, yeah. and I mean, you. 
you know, and uh, not that not that he wouldn't have gotten uh, what's her name, Keisha K O R. Yes. Well, she was been down when he was chubby too. Well, yeah, chubby yeah. and like had a whole like mouth of slugs. like had a whole ice cream. I don't right. know if he has the ice cream still on no, his I face. Think it's I think it's gone, gone right? Yeah. yeah, like he just really looked. That's why people feel like he was body snatched. Yeah, and we talked about this. I like, don't have no problem with it. Like, like I mean, he's he has really he really, really come good. up. He probably works out really heavy though too now, right? I would assume because she her body. <sighs> Golly. Don't worry. Next next year at this time, when when y'all don't see me for a couple weeks, we I'm know just going to let everyone know because I believe and just, y- y'all going to see my pre-op and post-op. Got you. You going to put it out there like <laughs> what? Black China and Rob Absolutely. Rob, I mean, Rob hated on Black China. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, oh, so you going to break up with me? Let me show you all that I spent money <laughs> on. But you don't get just like that no for real <laughs> but i like i like that episode because again we get to be passionate about what yeah. we do and dentistry is of course both of our passions whether we talk about blowing up our offices or not at the end of the day what we do though is actually a lot of fun so <laughs> you always trying to blow up your office i don't know <laughs> i am that. there's 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 sometimes i walk out of there like hmm not a good day. Not a good day. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me, how do we? Oh, what is it? Pinky in the brain. <laughs> <laughs> but that was a good one. So yes, okay, maybe yes. let me see what your next and then, one is. And then my one of our favorites, which we have already talked about, yeah. was Dr. Kwanzaa. Man, she was phenomenal. Because for me, she we we played Screw for like the first thirty minutes oh. of the show. <laughs> When it was one song. Yeah. It was only one song and we played it the whole, the whole time. song. Because <laughs> it went that whole long. I mean, I just got educated so much about one, um, your guys' culture here in Houston. <laughs> like, I didn't know that that was a real thing. Like, I didn't know why Screw even got evolved and it was because of them drinking Syrup. Drinking syrup. Yeah, yeah, I did not or know lean. that. Or yeah. lean. And so yeah. she educated the masses about. On, on lean. Yeah. On, on what it is, what's the makeup of it, why it causes what it causes. Um, You know, not only, of course, do people die from it, but why do they die from yeah. it? And why is it addictive? Um, You know, and of course, it's the fact that it has codeine in it and promethazine in it and um, two very highly addictive uh, drugs and that it's, it's being expensive abused. too. And it's expensive, right? But back in the day, it wasn't as expensive, yeah. so there was easier to get. So she just kind of educated us, and she's so damn cool. Yeah, she was Doctor, really awesome. I mean, uh, she's DJ Code Blue, yeah. right? Yep, she's DJ so Code she's, Blue. She's also a DJ. So I just felt like I had I had I had met her in the past, right? Because. I, I, I'm not as I'm not as well connected with all the doctors Stop in Houston it. as that's just because I went Dr. to Xavier Simone. University <laughs> of Louisiana. So that's I'm all just saying. I'm just, just saying. saying. She's you, a product of our environment. You that's fine. <laughs> but facts are facts. So she's much more well connected than I am. And so um, I had met met Dr. Kwanzaa through Dr. Nia, who okay. we'll bring up, of course. Yeah, later, I'm pretty yeah. sure. Um, and I remembered her, and then as soon as she started talking, I was like, I. Where I, know I know you exactly from. exactly where you're from. And so I felt like that episode really kind of shown a, a really bright light on what and how um not it started in Houston, this this epidemic of lean abuse started in Houston and then of course it's now, you know, we talked about Rob Kardashian being addicted to yeah. it and and Lil Wayne having addiction issues with it. And so like all these celebrities and then now, you know, you double cup it and people out on the streets drinking it like it's like it's water. Right. The people that actually who made the screw music from drinking syrup have died even yes. from it, you know? So I just yes. thought that that was really a, a really awesome subject because of the fact that for people who are not from Houston, who don't know the connection to the drink and the actual, actual, actual addiction to it, I felt like it really helped educate us. So guys, please make sure you check out that show. That's actually episode 23. Episode so, 23. Yep. So okay. check that one out. Well, as you are checking out episode 23 on your um, device, you can actually choose a sponsor with us. What? Why I mean, not? Why not? You guys, we really want to do some awesome things, so we need some sponsorship. <laughs> we need some come sponsorship. through, come through, come through. Um, are you starting your business and looking for a place to advertise? Do you have a need to reach out to thousands of people across the world to build your brand or sell your product? If so, get your product placement and advertising needs handled right here at The Sphere. We offer a wide variety of content delivery platforms, including iTunes, Google Play, SoundCloud, YouTube, and Stitcher. Plus, we have a vast demographic reach within the United States as well as modern countries across the globe. Our enriched content and inspiring dialogue, coupled with your strategic ad, is surely to hit the mark every time. Call us today at area code 832 
772-7789 or send an email over to advertise at the sphere.tv come through come through we need our coinage we we actually do we actually do <laughs> and that's not that's not a beg it's just more like a, a strong well plea. i think that if people get a chance to actually come and see the studio like they'll be well, blown away first so off, yeah we, I, i've already said i was gone for like two days and every i come back day. and it's cnn in yeah, here. yeah like it's like he got more TVs than Best Buy. I was just in Best Buy last yeah. week. And like, I'm I can't like, do it. <laughs> <laughs> I can't do it. I was doing the math in yeah. my head yeah. while I was at Best Buy. I was like, mm. So he got like 40s, right? <laughs> in one room. In one room. In the front, so, we just got TVs just to be like showing like, just out. To show out. Yeah, like right now, it's a, it's a screensaver. Definitely the black. <laughs> I told him, I was like, you're going to be the black Robert Johnson. <laughs> like, I love it. It's, and it's awesome to see. So so showing. it's very impressive. And if you guys would like to advertise, it's a great place to start. And I yes. think that um, supporting Gary in this vision is. is It's cool. It's fantastic. It's yeah. Cool. So who's your next? So Dr. Shanika dot com. Oh, one of the s- shopping secret tips and obesity we talked about and we had um jeremy on the show as well so we talked a little bit about you know basically diet and how it can go out of whack and become a really big problem and getting obesity and bmi so that was a really great episode um how thick is too thick like we talk about thick thighs and saving lives but I is mean, that the one that we talked about the model yeah yes, yes yeah yes, 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 yes. so um and, um what's her name uh, ashley, the, graham. ashley graham yes. where you know she's the curvier looking uh women that are out here definitely looks good but how Big is too big. So I love that one because she had a lot of tips that she provided as far as shopping cart secrets. So walking the perimeter, yeah. picking items that are not in the, the center area, going to the grocery store full so that you're picking things that you actually need as opposed to things that are impulse buys. And then talking about those co- uh, comorbidity conditions that happen once we get to that point of being too obese. And then I thought it was really nice um, talking to Jeremy about his his struggle um, with food and now how he is actually a chef and he cooks every day. So he battles with his um, addiction on a day-to-day basis and how he's been able to transform that and turn um, basically his love for food into helping people be healthier so that was one of my favorites I thought that was a really good uh conversation I think that a lot of times especially in the black community when we look at weight um it's just something that oh well we're big bone and that's not really a thing it's really like we're choosing to eat the way we want to right right and I was listening to Rick Warren this morning and one of the comments that he said is is that when people come to you and say oh I got a problem I'm overweight that's not a problem you can fix that and Mm -hmm. I think that this is one of those episodes that if you guys go back and listen to um, getting your life right, everybody is always really trying to get healthy and fit for the first of the year. Yeah. Um, we know that people are going to fall off in February, myself included, but these are some things that we can fix to try to be healthier lifestyles, which I think segues into that other one that we did. I thought was a good show uh, about what the hell. Oh, oh my gosh. Like I stay God. vegan for like at least I gave it a good four weeks though. Yeah, you so, were doing really, yeah. really, and then really came good. Into my life and I was like, I like I a snake. I love meat. <laughs> I still love meat. I love meat. Yeah. But I, I, I will say that I've done a better job about eating fish okay. during the week. That's good. Yeah. That's and good. then the weekends. Well, see, and so like much. it's not this show isn't just for y'all, right? Like yeah. we've had we've made life changes and life decisions based off of our guests and yeah. our content. So one of my favorites was episode eight when I had Candace Easley in here. Okay. The oral cancer survivor. Oh, yeah. So Candace owns a boutique that I shop out of all the time, Tresor Cachet Boutique and um at 360 Hair Studio. And it's where I get my hair done too. Just shout out to 360. Um and she was diagnosed with oral cancer at 34. Wow. 34. Yes, 34. And she she wears a, a obturator. Oh, wow. Okay. And so for people who don't know what that is, that's basically like um, an appliance a that plug. you put into your palate to basically not allow your food to communicate mm-hmm. from your mouth to your nose. Basically. For you to be able to talk. So yeah. it's like a plug to kind of plug up where your hard palate used to be. Yeah. So the roof of your mouth, because that's where her cancer was. So okay. she got her wisdom teeth removed. And during the process of getting her wisdom teeth removed, the oral surgeon saw something and took his first instinct or her first instinct. I can't remember, but either or. And um, and removed it as well and sent it off for biopsy. And it was cancerous. Wow. Yeah. And I mean, so she was like 34, 35 wow. with like a two-year-old 
you know, living life and had oral cancer. Wow. She's a survivor, yeah. but I mean, godly, right? Yeah. So she was amazing. Like she, her episode was touching. It was, I mean, she's gorgeous. Like yeah, she's yeah. Stunning. And she was like, I would take it. She was, she was telling me that she would take it out to let everybody hear, but we wouldn't be able to understand her. Wow. If, if she took out her, her obturator, so her mouth plate, we would not be able to understand her because she is talking through her nose. Wow. There's no, there's no, it's just air going from her mouth to her nose down, you know, and up and down. So um, I thought it was incredibly interesting. She, she had lost like, she had gotten down to like 90 something pounds because she couldn't eat. Wow. Because you can't eat without the. Yeah. Yeah. So she's getting a feeding tube. Wow. So, I mean, wow. her story was just so amazing. And I mean, these are the types of guests that we would love to have more of because yeah. we can talk all day from the doctor's perspective. But hearing her story firsthand and what she went through directly, it was one of the most touching episodes that we've had. And that was episode eight for anybody who wants to go back and watch that. Yeah. I think they're going and getting that oral cancer screening done. I mean, shout out to her getting her wisdom teeth. I mean, if she hadn't, right? Like, And, if she, and had... she pushed it off. That that's the thing. Wow. So she, her doctor told her she needed it out. Her general doctor um, told her she needed it out, referred her. She was, uh, maybe it was her 35th birthday. She had 35th birthday plans. She was like, oh, I'll do it after my 35th birthday. Three or four months later, she goes in and, and has a surgery. She's like, what if I would have pushed it off another year? Yeah. Yeah. That's what we typically do, though, oh, right? Yeah. So You forget. Yep. Definitely do. So um, I my next one was, I think, something that just played to my heart which was the home care for assisted living mm. i thought that was a really good one when is too what's when's it too early for you to think about putting yeah. your family into a a, a a a place i think that was faith hawkins that came on to the show um, i thought her show was really good because she allowed us we talked about one i didn't know this is right around was it right around the hurricane time where people were like abandoning, right. yeah, and people were abandoning their, the elderly at their jobs or the place of employment. And there was um, a facility that unfortunately lost several people yes. there because yep. of the fact that they had not ran the right protocols yep. to um, take care of the elderly. So I thought that that was really a good episode, not only because I think that having an emergency protocol in place for if a natural disaster happens, what do you do? Um, sometimes we get into just the havoc or the, the chaos of just leaving that we don't forget, we forget about people that are in a, in a nursing home facility. Um, also, we talked about how people were taking advantage of people in the nursing home facility. So the gentleman that had just gotten caught for uh, raping an elderly person, yep. that was really kind of disturbed. No, that's not kind of, that was disturbing. But it allowed us also to think about just things that we may not really even have on the forefront of our mind that elderly people may be experiencing. And because they're older and they can't, cannot take care of themselves they're not able to articulate those items they're not able to communicate those things and you know how unfortunate that was but the last the, the big part for me was is making sure that um we had some form of insurance or home care for our elderly people we know that they're going to get older right now your parents are how old 61 mine are my mother is 66 and so i know for sure that that's coming down the pipeline but there is going to be a process in place that i'm working on trying to make sure that when she gets to the age where she can't take care of herself i will be able to step in and so sure. i thought that was really great for her to educate us about how to put that plan of action in early as opposed yep. to it being something that has yeah, remember to be that happened. that long-term insurance that she yeah. talked about which yeah. was great i thought it was awesome so um right now we got to talk about something else that's awesome because i actually have this shirt and i wore it while i was pregnant so y'all need to get on it um <laughs> just what yeah because i'm dope <laughs> you're dope you have it i have it too yeah. of course of um, course this portion of the show is actually sponsored by KOG and Company. Are your unique gifts and talents changing the world? Unleash Your Dopeness is a people empowerment movement built to encourage the masses to operate outside of their fears and have the gall to recklessly pursue their dreams and passions in life. Join thousands of others as we unlock the greatness that dwells inside. Shop dope gear at KOGpassion.com. That's KOGpassion.com and use coupon code DOPE with an exclamation point for 10% off exclusive Unleash Your Dopeness apparel. Act now, sizes are selling out fast. Um, so this is my number two, and then I'll have a number one. Okay. My number two favorite episode was with me, you, and Dr. Nia. 
Oh, that was a good one. Because I almost peed on myself. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> was, so not from the content, but just the personal moment that you're like, I made it through the I show. I made it through the show. I love it. Because I love it. whatever I drop, whatever it was, oh, it was an ad. And yeah. we oh, all so pregnant. simultaneously <laughs> lost it. I feel like the content was great. Don't get me wrong. But that was one of those moments, those blooper moments that Man, you just can't get that back. I just can't. Like, <laughs> if I could just replay <laughs> that over and over and over again. I felt like you were giving up on life at I, that moment. I, was like, mm. <laughs> I don't know what the rest of that is. You're but, like, and I'm out. I'm pregnant. <laughs> Whatever my ad was talking about, y'all are good. I got it. <laughs> Y'all got the that first was a good five seconds <laughs> of whatever I was talking about. But it was just a whole bunch of black girl magic on that show. Yeah. Um, Dr. Nia is very smart. She's very articulate. Yeah. Um, and she really helped talk about some of these kind of basic life-saving skills. That she you brought need. props, which I thought was like. She brought like like full-fledged babies. Like, let me show you guys how to say life. How to life. do this yeah. if yeah. you have a baby and or a child or a young child and infants. And so I It reminds me a lot of like you. Like, that's how you guys, as you know, um, me and Doc, Doc, we do this show a lot. But we became friends before we became friends. And it was through Doctor. It was through Doctor Nia. Yeah, and yeah. I think that she reminds me. Her spirit is a lot like yours. You know, you guys are multitaskers. You're busy doing a lot of things in your God. life, and you guys have these families. But yet, so you're very great at what you do oh, well, you're, in you, your honey. careers. And so it. Nia is awesome because She's I mean, awesome. if you have any emergency issues, you can literally hit Nia up and be like, "Listen, oh, I need." So you know, my husband went over to her house, right? No. Okay, so my husband has a ruptured tendon of his of his middle finger, right? Don't I, I had it? I had it like a three He's day probably old. probably flipped you up. Uh, I had I had you right, off like I had, times. I had a three day old, and he wants to rupture his tendon <laughs> of his middle finger, right? And so it's stuck like this. Everybody that's watching, oh, it's no. stuck like that, right? Like he can't pull it up because this tendon here is ruptured. So I I call Nia. Nia was my like, uh, yeah. do we need to go to emergency room? She's like, no, it looks dislocated. So then she shows TJ, who her husband, y'all don't right. may remember or not, is orthopedic doctor. So TJ's like, yeah, it looks it looks like it's probably dislocated. See if you can put it back in place. So she's like, you have to pull really hard, whatever. So I do all that. It's still, oof, Lord, oh God, I'm cringing right now, like this, ah. right, like 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 that, like he can't pull it up yeah and it doesn't hurt it doesn't hurt but it looks crazy if you follow me on instagram or you follow uncle poochie on instagram you will see us clowning uh, oh about God. this finger right and so we and ricky ended up going over to their house to get it set to try to get it set oh my god! because gosh. they thought that it was dislocated yeah. and so as she's and he has it on his instagram well he had it on his instagram story her trying to pull it couldn't get it wow so now he's in a splint to kind of let it try feel like that but my point is, is that Dr. Nia is my go-to yeah. for all things emergency. She got me through a lot. Um, she was very helpful. Um, on a personal note, like when my dad, unfortunately, was passing away, she just was very, she's an ER doc, mm. so therefore I got a chance to hear a lot of things. She helped educate me, read the labs, making sure that he was getting the be best care before he transitioned. So I definitely oh, think nice. that, she, yeah, she was... Shout out to the whole family. I mean, they're yeah, just, they're just brilliant they're, black, they're black 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 people magic. Yeah, I like say. I I want to move in with yeah, them. Yeah, I mean, I ask for adoption all the time. <laughs> I'm like, well, I know I'm 34, but so I have two more before I have my top one. So my next one after that was the uh, images of infertility. Of course, though oh, that was a really God. great episode, only from a personal standpoint to help yeah educate people and let them know about the infertility different types of infertility male versus female um what to say what not to say what to get checked out um time manners of that like it just was a great episode i think it was more as the word cathartic for myself sure like getting an opportunity sure. to um expose a little bit about myself personally yeah, and that. the struggles that people may have or experience going through infertility um, and I think that celebrities are doing a really good job of bringing more awareness to infertility like Gabrielle Union I think that she came out and said that she's experienced like seven to eight miscarriages something like that yeah, yeah this year and so it was really interesting to hear her conversation about wanting to have a family here you see this woman who um, is uh, at the pinnacle of her career and so uh, what's his name came and took her show <laughs> 50 cent <laughs> he's like no more being mary jane but 50 cent was, is ruthless he's rude i but need it, <laughs> i need him in my life most days he was like so we're not doing that so anyways <laughs> but i mean she's married to Dwayne wade yeah um 
and for some people they would call that a power couple and you know what mm -hmm. she experiences i do have a sidebar can i like be can i take it off for a moment <clears throat> i just heard somebody say that cardi b and migos the dude offset are a power couple can you explain that to me for just i know that this has nothing to do with docs but no we're not gonna do that okay so i'm gonna move into my next one which uh, no, is <laughs> no I was, I was looking at my son however um th they can't be we can talk about it really quickly they cannot i was like be. what are we calling power couples because like does that equate moves. to like michelle and barack like they can never be on i don't know you can never say I that don't know. but yeah. i was like okay so to me even Dwayne wade and gabriel union you, you know they've experienced some things that but i thought that from her story about showing that you know hey even people who are deemed to have everything don't yeah, yeah, you know yeah, definitely, so definitely. i thought that was good and that was also like i said for me important to get out there to people about infertility and so my number two was black men in medicine da, 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 da. that was a really that was great, great episode. That was a great episode yeah so we had the pulse of perseverance on um we had dr um i was always trying to get his name max max mm -hmm. yeah so he was fantastic mm -hmm. um going through and letting us know what they were trying to do as an organization here you have three black doctors who have dealt with adversity had troubles with getting into medical schools and now they are at the height of their careers uh, he was a cardiothoracic oh, was that episode Sidebar. <laughs> he was a cardiothoracic uh anesthesiologist Ooh. right okay ma'am okay. it was really pretty <laughs> it was it was cute <laughs> you see that movement oh that move oh hit him oh Mm. Oh my gosh! <laughs> but I thought that you know what they were trying to do Proceed. as an organization and how they're trying to elevate the black community from showing these boys that you can be a part of your your hood and still getting a chance to elevate it into Definitely. a whole another level. I thought was wonderful. So Definitely. I wanted to shout them out again because I've got a chance to see them on several different platforms mm. and they are going viral. Really awesome, just really great people to have. And of course, there's Avi Rights, which of course to me mad is love and you knew love. him too from well, school well we we are connected in some way right yeah. so uh, like his his wife is one of my my friends from dental school's best friends so we have some connection and we were both at howard at the same time That's and the awesome. dental school and the medical schools are connected to each other right so we've passed each other we probably partied in the same area yeah, yeah. yeah so um i didn't know him personally but yeah it's yep. it, it is nice to see to see that now my favorite moment of 2017 Aww. i think it's my favorite too our first episode together i mean you gotta admit guys like <laughs> this here <laughs> is just straight up love like i gotta tell you ashandra you have been by far something to look forward to yes on a friday i would definitely say the same for you honey and when when you're here when i'm here that's, that's a slight yeah, okay. but i appreciate but i hate it it's because i'm hating yes. it's 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 it comes from a place Shout of hate out to southwest <laughs> with all the frequent flyer mouths and you too can travel like this with southwest but no i mean you have been oh from God. start to finish i even feel like i'm a better co-host when you are around um oh, you have time taught me how to be um hip cool i always say you're the the cooler version of what you're what i aspire to be um seeing how you manage your life is just beautiful well, and so that I, I is definitely you. my number one as well. it's it's it i truly will say this on camera that this woman to my right is one of the smartest women that i know i don't know what y'all think no Outside she really is <laughs> she really is her her business sense and and what you have brought to my life as far as focusing in on some things that I need to focus on and being so transparent with me and letting me vomit all of my problems onto you and you opening up your arms <laughs> and inhaling my vomit. <laughs> I appreciate. And this is all, of course, Well, I mean, because we want to see each other win. No, well, yeah. I mean, I think that's just what it is. And like, I, I, I just want to say that know. most people, and I and I say this all the time to people that, that listen, I say, look, as business owners, as friends, as people who support each other, if you're not if you're not giving each other everything then you're not helping each other at all yeah so i appreciate that you've allowed me to give you Aww, everything thanks. and you say look this is how i'm gonna help you and now mind you she's five years younger than me or whatever she is i but mean it, i just <laughs> <laughs> maybe like four Maybe but like you four, know what, what it is yeah. is that I don't have the same commitments that you do. And That's so true. That's true. You know, we but put it in balance and perspective. Yeah. And uh, one person that 
I, I'll never forget this. Uh, I was on a panel with her and she said to me, Simone, you just can't get A pluses in everything in life. And so there's going to be mm. moments in life where you can get an A and then you get a B in something else. Mm -hmm. And I think right now you've done a phenomenal job of you're still getting A's regardless of what you think. Yeah. But I think that to say this, <laughs> say to speak, like you are just a phenomenal woman. And Thank you. I am blessed. I think we also need to give a shout out to the producer. Oh, one time. For the Jihad. For Gary. <laughs> <laughs> for Gary. I mean, getting a chance to be a part of the house. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much for yeah. our 2017. Yeah, this is awesome. From the house yeah. to the penthouse. Man. Like, I mean, we really Started moving on. The uh, now we here. So now we're here. Yeah. It, well, it was like, let's just say, like we have a whole studio <laughs> now. But guys, if you uh, have not subscribed to us or followed us on our social media platforms, please do so. Um, check out Docs. We want to see this show continue to be great. And we expect so many great things to happen in 2018. I'm excited. I'm truly excited. And if you guys need to find me, of course, you can follow me on Facebook at Simone Ellis and on Instagram at Dr. Simone Ellis. And, of course, at my dental office, Smile Design Studios in Missouri City, Texas. We're giving awesome smiles. I am excited about my year. And, Doc, where we can we find you? Oh, well, um, right now you can find me hibernating for the next couple of days until yes. 2018. Yes. Did you walk um, out that office? Like, I literally took my last patient. <laughs> it was like, get out. And I kicked her. I was like, I don't leave. This is over. Yeah, yeah. It was, it was Great nice. Great feeling. It was nice to end the year and yes. be done with it. But you, if you do, if you want to start the year off and, and um, restart, restart your smile or restart your life with a new dentist um i am available um at elite dental wellness which is located at the corner of fondren and westheimer you can find me at um, www.houstondentalwellness.com or you can call me at 713-789-8680 you can always follow me on any of my social media platforms at hotdoc.com which is on instagram and facebook twitter um and pinterest and every place else such as chandra batiste i would like for everyone to subscribe to our show we have great things coming for 2018 thank you so much for our current subscribers we appreciate your support and if you would like to support the show by all means financially hit us up on the website and um, donate your dollars we appreciate your um, time and support thank Thank you so much we'll see you next year 2018 <laughs> body roll, body roll.